I'm Vivian and I'm also from uh, PSE team and I will demo the Unirev Social today and Unirev Social is the uh, example application of Unirev protocol. So what is Unirev? So uh, Unirev, actually Unirev is a cross app reputation system. So uh, you can imagine that there are many applications there are uh, reputation system upon them, but they cannot communicate with each other. So if I use a uh, Twitter application, and how can I prove that I own this reputation to a GitHub user? So uh, if you ju just show the screenshot of the Twitter, and then you cannot, uh, you can easily forge them. So Unirev is a a reputation system that use uh, the zero knowledge proof to let user to prove your reputation to another application. So you can imagine that Unirep is a, a ERC standard, and they they can uh, you can issue a token like reputation token and use it in your application. So this is a summary of Unirep that it is a private and non-reputable reputation system that based on ZKP. So to make it more simpler, and in, you, to use Unirep, you can give your reputation and receive reputation and also prove your reputation. And one of the Unirep application is the Unirep social, and it is an anonymous social media. And why we use the reputation in the anonymous social media? Because in, uh, in decentralized uh, social media, we, it is hard to, um, uh, it is ir easily to spend or you can say something irresponsible. So with the reputation system, you can, you can know, uh, uh, we can, avoid people to say something really bad or we can prevent spam. And in this social media, if user has uh, not enough reputation, they cannot uh, post or comment in this social media. And I will demo what is in the universe social. So you can log in with your out us like Twitter or GitHub account. And then the universe social will uh, also to see if the account has logged in before or no. And then the most important part is that actually we are not signing with Twitter or GitHub account. We use the semaphore identity. So uh, uh, the user has to keep this semaphore identity. And we will this use, use this semaphore identity in the whole Unirep social system. And then after you're signing, you can create a post in uh, this social media. And the interesting thing is that uh, now in this system, we don't use the, uh, we use the, uh, it's called subsidy to let users to post. And in each app, our user has three, 30 subsidy. And each post costs five, uh, five reputation. So if after th this post, you will, uh, you will minus five reputation. Oh, and also uh, to create the post, you have to prove that you're signing the uh, Unirep system. And also, sorry. And also you, you have to prove that you own the persona here. Yeah, because in the Unirep protocol, uh, the users will receive reputation by these personas. Yeah. And in this version of Universe Social, we will have rich text editor. So you can use Markdown to uh, 
uh, to post and also include images. Okay, when you finish your post and you can create a ZKP proof to prove that you own the subsidy and also you signing in this system. Okay, it is generating the ZKP proof and you will send it to the blockchain. Yeah, after the it is uh, the transaction was sent and you can look at the uh, like is a scan to see your transaction. Yeah, and the, uh, when the post is published and other users can boost or squash this post. So this is why, uh, what our, uh, this is where the reputation system used. Because if you see this post is really bad and you can squash it and uh, you, the author of the post will receive this bad reputation. And if you receive too much bad reputation and then you might not able to post in the uh, next few epochs. Yeah, and besides post, you can also comment in this social media. And also comment, like you can see, here's, uh, now there's 25 subsidy here. And comment also cost, uh, also requires users to generate a ZKP proof to uh, prove you signing in this system and also own this persona. Yeah, so it's pretty similar. And then you create a ZKP proof and with it on chain. And then uh, in this universe social system, we have a user information, user info page, so you can see what you post and also what you have commented before. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, and I want to also introduce that we are some upcoming features. Uh, the first one is the edit post and comment feature. Uh, as you can see, uh, we, we post and comment with the ZKP proof, but how can we edit the previous post? So uh, in this edit function, we, we will generate another uh, uh, pers like persona proof to prove that you are the the author of the post. So you, you can use the ZKP proof to, to prove you are the author, and then you can uh, uh, submit another transaction to, uh, to this post, to edit this post. And another feature is that we can set the username with this uh, Unirad protocol. Uh, so what you, how the username, username work is that uh, a user will uh, query a username request and then the universe social smart contract will give you an, a reputation that includes this username. Yeah. So in the next, uh, in the next EPA when you receive this reputation and then you can prove that I own this username. So not only the positive reputation and negative reputation, and also a lot of things can be proved in uh, with the Unirep protocol. Yeah. So if you want to learn more about Unirep, we will have a workshop tomorrow at 10.30 in a, a ZK community hub. And also you can follow our Twitter account and join the, our Discord server. Yeah, okay, thank you. Thank you, Vivian. Um, do you wanna take it? Yeah, we can take like uh, one question. Hi, thank you for the presentation. 
can you please explain what happens on the when you do the GitHub authorization? Are you extracting any information from that? Um, sorry. So like, uh, um, I saw like during the login, there's like a GitHub pop up for like I guess some OAuth stuff. Uh, What's happening there? Uh, we use the OAuth only uh, without any information. Just if the user has signing before or not, but. Oh. Yeah, but no more, yeah, operation. Okay, okay, thank you.